video we're gonna create a DJ laptop and we're gonna use the Acer Aspire 5310 it's a pretty good machine uh, the specs uh, of this thing it has two uh, gigabytes of memory and I think the processor let's let's take a look at that it's running Linux at this moment just made a little backup of my stuff um, it's having an Intel Celeron processor 1.6 gigahertz so in fact this is not a big deal uh, machine but it will be I think it should be good to uh, create a DJ machine all right we're gonna do it uh, on Vista basic and why Vista basic just because it's uh, it's light and we don't effect need more than just a good operating system and it also goes along with this laptop okay so I think we should some here F10 11 F12 oops easy easy one should boot from CD there she goes you can hear the sound there press any key to start so there we go we're just gonna uh, install Windows Vista looks really nice in fact I'm gonna kill uh, a Linux machine now because um, I want to create a virtual DJ machine okay up here we're just gonna select to delete all the partitions Just select anything that you can delete. These are all partitions of Linux. Might take a second. This one here we cannot. This one we can. 28 gigabytes. And then we should have, I think, two drives left. Here. We we'll also delete this one. Reset. So we're gonna hit next, and we're gonna let this do do do. As you can see, most drivers are installed. This thing was made for Windows Vista Basic, so I'm gonna go ahead and install Virtual DJ, and then we're gonna continue. Okay, we're activating the system. Okay, we're activating the system. I must say that the Vista Home Basic looks really, really nice. It's really snappy on this machine. And I'm sure that after removing these, uh, these things, it will be way better. And there we are, activated channel. I just downloaded uh, the latest uh, virtual DJ but the setup was not starting so I went for a version lower I'm going for 7 dot something and that installer works so I think it's because I'm on Vista basic it has to do with the operating system let's hit custom no spyware no nothing oh yeah spyware oh my gosh So, next. Well, I want you to know that the spyware that you just saw, um, I mean the toolbar, it's not in the original version. So I downloaded this from some other site, I think chip.nl or so, and they inserted it in the install. So we did not install the, the toolbar in the adware. And this version comes from uh, high tech. In fact, yeah, I should have downloaded this from the original site. But in some way, 
I cannot find uh, version 7. So these guys are putting spyware in, well, it's spyware, maybe it's just a toolbar. I complain too much. Virtual DJ 7. I don't know. I'm just gonna go for the one that we're installing now. It's uh, kind of busy. Okay, it took uh, it took a while before the installer actually started. What is this? Go away. And you can probably go for uh, version 8, okay? But it doesn't matter because they both kind of work the same, okay? So this is it. Looks beautiful, huh? So um, let's go to my computer. And let's go to my... Oh, my SD card with music is not connected yet. I need to install some drivers still. So let me do that real fast. I need to download one driver at least and that is um, the driver for the flash disk you see that the Wi-Fi card and the SD card here this thing so let me install that real fast, then we have some music. Okay, there we are, we're back. Uh, Windows installed fine, I fixed everything that was needed and now I'm gonna install Virtual DJ 8. I just installed it and let's boot it up. I could first not, uh, let me show that to you because you might get run into this problem. Uh, the installer was not uh, reacting, it was not doing anything. So um, let me show you what I did. This was the installer. I right mouse click and I went to properties here. You see? And then um, here in security. No, where was it? Custom details general. Somewhere here I hit it, I clicked on block. In some way it was blocked. I could that that's why I installed seven. Then I did the right mouse click and somewhere I I, I I whatever. You know, but now the installer is running. So shall we might look into that another time? So there we are. Um I should still make my account. So there we are peeps. Uh this is it. And uh what do I see here? There we are nice 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 okay and where are my samples i don't see my samples let's go to um my f drive i think i should have some music here ah there it is so let's load in something it's loading Very nice. So, but where are my sounds? Okay, I'm gonna play a bit with this and get back to you. Okay, peeps, the machine is completely finished. Uh, I created two fantastic recordings already. I must put the music a little bit soft. I'm recording a, a, a UK top 40 mix I'm kind of creating now. And uh, Virtual DJ also has a built-in recorder. So maybe we should make a review of, uh, of Virtual DJ 
itself because it's uh, one of the coolest DJ players and yeah stuff yeah that you need kind of as a DJ to broadcast your your music you know you can broadcast you can even record videos there are many things that you can do hold on I must make a mix Okay, there we go. So yeah, what can I say? Um, it's really nice. It kept me busy. That's why I'm not really posting videos to YouTube. I'm like kind of DJing all the time uh, on this machine because uh, I really love the fact that this old 5310, you know, this this old 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 uh, laptop can be a nice DJ machine. Uh, and that we can you know record whatever we're kind of doing at the same time uh, i'm using version 7 i also had version 8.1 uh, you can also download that one but um, this machine is look at this you see the cpu it's only in the green but with the 8.1 it's it's yeah almost in red and sometimes it's in red and um yeah I, I think that is kind of a little bit too heavy for this machine even though it has two gigabytes of ram you know but uh, i think for this machine version 7 is the very best that you can have and you can also uh, effect import some samples I, I downloaded a sample pack with real nice samples so yeah you can also add that to this package so yeah you can also buy a virtual dj cost uh, i think 2.99 per year or lifetime i was not even sure or 19 euros per month eh? then you can buy it and then you can do all sorts of crazy things uh, it has more effects and even um certain plugins you know for devices uh, the other day we were at media market you know these mixers and so you can plug them in and then they are being recognized by the software and then the software is kind of you know all, also responding uh, with the buttons on the on the device so that's it peeps uh, i can advise this to all my young youth you know go ahead and download the coolest songs that you can find or find them uh, see if you still have them in your library whatever how you're gonna get them uh, but try to also make nice mixes and see how uh, how this will keep you busy and you know keep you really creative lovely project well more i cannot tell you i think it's a very nice project i think that if you have an old laptop out there you know uh, try to see if virtual dj will run on it remember what i said if the processor is not so strong even though you have enough memory you know go for version 7 they even have a version 5 i saw somewhere so you know just use the version that runs the best on that laptop of yours because it must also load the files and i can say it's very stable i created two mixes already you can find it on soundcloud i have uh, a soundcloud uh, find me there studio 48 uh, that's my music project so yeah um go ahead and download the mixes that i created these last two days uh, link will be in the description of course uh, if you are uh, motivated to also do a thing like this uh, especially my youth tudor and 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 ailey and and bad boy dangerous and 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 my other friends there if you guys uh, also gonna uh, do this uh, i love to hear your mixes and i really want them as well so go ahead make me proud eh? and then i love to see you all in the next video that will be about the iphone 4 uh, showing the rendering process of effect the first album uh, that i created today for my it was in fact i wanted to create a podcast and i wanted one picture and you know the podcast under it but you will find that it's really hard to find the app in the play store or in the android google uh, or in the app store of apple you know to put to use one picture with some text on it and then you know have that picture over the complete length uh, of that of that audio file so that's what i'm gonna show in fact and we're gonna do that in windows and i have a video of that coming up and then you're gonna see some time processes uh, render processes as well and uh, the video after that will be about the iphone 4s what i'm still doing with it and how it can still be a very powerful device and 
chat that it's still very usable even in 2017 so that's are these are the videos that will come up and that's it for now i want to thank you for watching love to see you in my next video if you did not subscribe already you know what to do subscribe and love to see you in my next video